So we got Andrea's two-year-old stud in here. He just showed up. And we're just going to kind of see if he doesn't want to focus on the human that's in the pen with him. A little more curious about the dogs and the people up in the stands there. I'm just going to see if I just can't get him to kind of look at me here. Just try to get him to kind of think about Jerry here. Okay, so right here, I'll just kind of start to get his attention. Just, okay, there. So, there you go. Good boy. Good boy. I want him to start to believe when he feels that good, kind of come down here towards his hind feet. He should bring his eye into me. Just kind of ask him right here. I want him to start looking for answers out of me when he turns his butt to me. He's going to get a little sting there. But I want him to think about maybe looking in here instead of worrying so much about what's going on outside the pen there. Good boy. There you go. I want you to kind of watch this. His foot is telling me what to do. There. I'll just escalate the cue if I need to. Let him think about it for a second. Then I want him to feel when the foot comes back here, he should maybe start to move the hip, or I will begin to escalate the cue. There. Give him an instant reward. Go ahead and ask him again. Whip, escalate. Tap, tap, tap. There. Good. So. I just want to see if you'll move that shoulder up for me. There, and now move the hip. Nice. Now move the shoulder, and now move the hip. So, right, right there. And just in a matter of a few minutes, and he's starting to catch on. It's pretty good stuff. Shoulder. Good. And now your hip. Pay attention. Good boy. Now your shoulder. And now your hip. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Just kind of let him think on that for a minute. Pretty soon I can drop that whip back here. Hey, Emerson. Emerson. Yeah, maybe you should swing your hip away from me there. Maybe you should move your shoulders off. And maybe send this hip away. Good boy. Maybe you should send it right here, Andrea. We'll just kind of start to teach him to move his hip. I'm going to draw a little triangle on the ground here. Anytime I'm at the point of that triangle or a little bit beyond, and if he feels me just kind of put my eyes down towards his hip, he better start moving it. So I'll pick up that rope and I'll twirl it and I'll... There you go. So pretty soon, he'll start kind of watching for me to come to position and put my eyes down. And then I want that hip to move around. I don't pull on his face when I do this. As long as he's trying to move that hip. Good boy. As long as you're trying to move that hip. Good boy. So I want to see if he has good retention here. I'll just step back and just get my, there we go. Good re-engaging here. When my eyes go towards that hip. Good boy. So now I'm just going to teach him to go left and right. Of course, he's never been in a round pen, and Andrew says they've never done any groundwork with him, but he's just born gentle. So, so he does a nice job of handling him and stuff. I uh, said they haven't really taught him to lunge or do anything. So to teach Emerson how to go left, he say, hey, Emerson, go to my left, or I'll show you this rope, or I'll twirl it. I'm going to step in here and tap on you, tap on you, tap on you, until you think about going left there, boy. So Emerson, go left, or I will escalate the cue. Good boy. When my eyes go towards your hip, that's right. So go left. Here you go. When my eyes go towards your hip, there you go. Better start being a little more responsive there. There you go. And when I ask for that hip, there you go. I like that. He kept that rope soft that time. So we'll teach old Emerson to back up here. 
I just wanted to kind of watch for me, just kind of say, hey, Emerson, maybe you should back up and you see this tiny cube. And if you fail, I'll kind of tap on my rope or I'll wiggle it. And then failure, maybe you get a little wake up call there, boy. So I wanted to kind of pay attention. Emerson, when I, and right there, even if that was accidental, see, I gave him a complete reward for the try. Even if, even if it was accidental, Emerson, when I wave and tap and wiggle this rope, you should back up or you get a little pop under the chin there. Okay, and if you get crooked, Emerson, I'm, I'm going after your hip here, so you might as well keep yourself straight. So when I wave bye-bye and tap, tap, wiggle, wiggle, failure, get you one of these every single time. So focus, bye-bye, tap, tap, wiggle, wiggle, back there. Okay. I'll let him kind of think for a second. Right there. So, because he backed up when I opened my fingers to him, I rewarded it. Bye bye, tap, good boy. So, right there, I planted all those little seeds in his head, and I'll just kind of quit on him and let him kind of think about what happened to him right there. So, to teach him how to give his to the rain here, I'll just kind of pick this up in slow motion kind of melt the slack out of it and just go to the point of contact and I'll just kind of wait on him right there. We've got maybe about a half a pound of pressure. And if he tries to give me his face without moving his feet, I'll release him. I'll just hold him right there. If he goes to pull back, I'll just go with him. Just maintain that half a pound of pressure, just going to the point of contact there. I'll wait. He's trying to move his feet there. I'll just stay with him. If he'll plant his feet, and soften the ring. Just stay clear of those front feet. When he feels his feet stop, if he softens his face right here, there. It's just that much, but that's all I look for. I'll just pick up that half pound of pressure. Did he stop? Okay, stop. Hold. There. 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 He moves, I'll just pick him up, hold him again. There. He needs to plant that idea in his head, stopped feet and soft face is what gets him the reward there. But stop those feet. Soften the face. There, there. You see, he, by nature, could very easily become what we call a head flopper. And you see how he wants to kind of twist his head? There. What we're wanting to do is help him to understand that we want to bring his face around vertically. So in a horse like this, you got to kind of guide him a little more of a low rein here. His instinct is to pull back. You can't, you can't uh, fault him for that. Let's maintain that half pound of pressure there. I can kind of feel him kind of thinking about doing it. He'll get it. But our job is just to take the time to teach him to understand what we're looking for here. Good? Good. Good. So he's getting to lower his head here for us. And yeah, just because his head dropped that much, I quit. Okay. Touch, squeeze, drop it back and forth here. Any sign that he wants to drop that head down, I'll quit. I want him to fall away from my hand. Touch, start to squeeze, drop him a little bit. Okay. So let's reach here to his touching and see if he wants to squeeze. There we go. Touch the squeeze. Rock him a little bit. So then in the beginning, I just asked him for just a quick little one count. Just give me a one count. Give me a one count. Give me a one count. Without moving your feet. And a one count. 
in a one count. In a one count. And that's why I, I try to pick that rope up in somewhat slow motion so he feels it happening in one count there. Good. And then pretty soon I'll start asking for a one and two count. And then a one, two, three count. Just give me a one count. And if we just visit this every day, it'll make more and more sense to him. And pretty soon, pretty soon we won't have any resistance in him. I mean, that's the plan. There. There. 